What's up, buddies? Welcome to another episode of The Poor Man Road to Glory. First thing we got to say is thank you, as always, for the support. Yesterday's video, um, and really, it's technically, even as I'm recording right now, today's video has popped off, man. In terms of the comments, the likes, the just the messages, the views, even in the last couple of hours. Like, I don't know what's going on, man, but yeah, my... Basically, it goes to show that my YouTube channel also only wants my poor man road to glory. My poor man road to glory videos, even right now, are getting 50 to 100% more views, even on my YouTube channel, than anything else I upload. So thank you. Uh, it honestly warms my heart that my Twitch community and my YouTube community love and support my road to glory so much. So much more than just the, the, the boring, endless pack opening videos and all of that stuff that I know there's still a certain amount of you guys that like those but it just it just makes me so happy that you guys support the road to glory series so i just wanted to say thank you so much i appreciate that um on this episode we are going to be doing so many things that i know i'm gonna have a problem keeping a schedule of it if you missed yesterday's upload make sure you go watch it we voted on the community team of the year a very well put together reddit post by actually it so happens to be one of my own subscribers to my twitch channel um and today we are going to go look at the results. Apparently there's over 2000 votes from the Reddit FIFA community on that actual uh, team of the year thread. So I'll review that real quick. And we're gonna get to see if EA were to do a team of the year community vote where we get the original 11 team of the year cards, which I think would be the most intelligent way to do it for EA Sports, right? They give us the original 11 team of the year winners the, the same way that they would every year. And then the substitutes and reserves, which ends up being another 12 players, they let the community vote on based off of the actual candidates that didn't make it into the actual already 11 team of the year. So we are going to go look at that today. We're going to essentially find out who the community would vote in as the final or the, the new or the extra 12 team of the year cards. And I'm assuming the thumbnail and stuff like that might have kind of have it slightly spoiled in terms of what players are in there or maybe i'll get only a few featured players in the thumbnail and stuff like that oh wow look at that right at the intro of the video thank you babe holy god my life is good honestly i'm not gonna lie at all that's not really fitting with a, a january uh getting fit new year's resolution but only plebs really set a new year's resolution to get fit right like i do every year this year we're just gonna live we're going to enjoy ourselves. We're going to get on that step machine when it works to get on that step machine. But we're just going to continue on living and just be grateful that we're on this planet. Anyways, so we are going to... First things first, we're going to look at that team of the year um, and, and, and just see what the community votes for. Uh, I've got so much other stuff to go through. We have cleared out the club. So if you guys missed last episode, watch that. Uh, but you will notice that there's a lot of people missing in my team. We're going to run on a relatively low not low budget team but essentially a squad that has us ready for team of the year and really other than ronaldo and viera everyone else is untradeable or pack pulled or well ronaldo viera and valencia then pretty much everyone else is untradeable like untradeable by obviously the red cards untradeable untradeable uh donkey untradeable viera uh, you know untradeable promise so we're kind of running on a little bit of a tight ship in terms of the the squad we kind of aren't but you get what i'm saying and i cashed out everything those inform gustavos oh my god i kind of wish i waited until today to sell them because i think they're up to like thirty-two thousand coins or something like that a piece maybe more i sold mine at 25 to 25 5 i still made anywhere from two to four thousand coins a player uh which is good but we could have made so much more money unfortunately so what are you going to do? You, you got it. I decided to take the profit where it was, but I think right now, because there's still, well, now there isn't, but there, there was another hour or so to get a uh, tradable team of the week SBCs done where player prices, 84 rated, 83 rated, all in form cards, all skyrocketed in price. If you tried to do the team of the week tradable packs yesterday, you would have done them for quite literally half the price of what they would have cost today to do um so on that note i didn't do any of them on this account again i don't believe it, it's intelligent spending eighty thousand coins to do a tradable team of the week pack um when yes this is a very 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 honestly my son and his cousins i phone message each other so much and for some reason it comes through my phone 
which is the most distracting thing ever but they literally spend their entire day facetiming each other if they don't if they don't get to come over to each other's houses to play and hang out and stuff they literally facetime each other as they're playing man technology is just insane um but literally i don't know why it constantly goes through to my phone Anyways, so we, I got so much to show you guys in terms of the club, what we've cleared out, how much money we're sitting on. Again, the title might have slightly spoiled how much profit we're on, but it's genuinely insane. In fact, screw it. I'll, I'll give you guys a little teaser of what type of coins we're sitting on right now. 3.620965 million coins on a road to glory. That also has a Cristiano Ronaldo, a Patrick Vieira uh, 86, a Prime Costa, a Prime Rio Ferdinand, and a club full of insane untradeable cards. And we've done that by January 3rd or 4th, 2018. Three, three and a half months into the game. That's what's up, boys. That's what's up on this Road to Glory. Now, I know a lot of you guys always say, yes, my Road to Glory is the absolute extreme because of how much time I spend on it. But absolutely, this is the whole point of this Road to Glory. Well, it was started way back in FIFA 15 is to show you guys the absolute max that you could do on a Road to Glory, essentially without spending money on the game, what you could get club-wise instead of spending money on the game. Um, so I'm very proud of that. Now, I will also quickly show you guys before we look at this community team of the year, I'm so proud of the grind, boys. Finally, we cleared out the club. We spent a month, month and a half, just opening packs, storing every single gold card possible, putting all the duplicates into the um, trade pile. We cleared it all out yesterday, and I still had to spend maybe six... Oh my God. Hold on. Whoa! 3.666 million coins now. That is creepy. The coin balance just went up as well. My God. Anyways, um... We spent so much time yesterday. I still had to spend 50, 60, maybe even 70,000 coins to finish up our team of the year preparation. But as promised to you guys, we now have 25 La Liga player packs ready to go for the team of the year. We also have 25 81 plus two rare gold player packs ready to go for team of the year. And depending on when team of the year is released, it could be released tomorrow. It could be released in two weeks. Who knows? It could be released in February. I, I don't know what their plan is, right? But we also are going to save any valuable good pack for yet another pack opening. So we're going to do a 25 La Liga player pack opening. Um, we're going to do a uh, 25 81 plus pack opening. Those will be separate videos for the poor man road to glory during team of the year. And then we'll do another big pack opening as well with any and all of the items that we've saved up. So squad battles, uh, rewards, uh, marquee matchup rewards, league SBC rewards that we should be getting soon. That, that So that could be another 30 plus gold packs that we could have saved for the team of the year. Dudes, I'm just getting, I'm really excited, man. I'm really excited for this time of year. We've grinded our ass off. This is really where um, all of the, you know, essentially working your ass off um, on the road to glory, hopefully will pay off. Now I'm not expecting to pack a team of the year or anything like that, but it just makes it fun. The idea, the, the, the thought of being able to pack a team of the year already is cool enough, I think, for these separate pack openings. So for the road to glory, we should have at least three separate videos, three separate huge team of the year pack openings without having spent a dime on this game. And again, on the pack account, I spent so much time yesterday as well, where we have at least another two huge videos for the team of the year coming from the pack account, essentially the, the pack to glory account. We have 50 La Liga player packs for the team of the year, ready to go for a pack opening. And then I have 40 uh, 81 team of the week or not team of the week 81 plus player packs on that account so it should be an awesome team of the year even if i choose to not spend a dime on the game anymore from here like on the pack account or anything like we still will have at least five awesome team of the week, or team of the year pack openings team of the year videos etc and then we'll decide maybe closer to the event depending on how ea push out the promo if i actually want to spend money on fifa points and stuff like that maybe you guys can let me know um uh what what it's worthwhile now one of the things that i'm thinking of doing here okay is why is it telling me the screen cards what has happened in previous years okay is every time ea releases a new team of the week when there have been tradable team of the week um uh packs available artificially the informs oh i 
almost got that. Artificially, the informs end up being so much cheaper than they are the next day. Um, so I'm sitting there thinking if we can pick up a couple of these, how, what's his actual price though? Oh my God. What the hell? Holy Jesus. Who's listing this card up for 13 K? Are you stupid? Okay. So there you go. There's his resting price at about 25 K or something along those lines. 13 K bro. What? Oh. <sighs> I can't do this. How there's like 5,000 people watching me fail at this, man. I hate my life. <gasps> Another one for third. People are so stupid. Oh my God. How dumb can you be? How dumb can you be? And how fat and slow are my fingers? No. <gasps> 15. Stop it. Stop being idiots. Oh my God. That card looks so good, dude. Dude, what is happening right now? Look at how many of these inform packs are being opened, dudes. Stop. I really want to try and get a couple of these. Hold on. Concentrate, Nick. Concentrate. No, there's too many people, man. There's too many people. My brain doesn't function quick enough. That was three seconds, bro. He's only five left. <gasps> Holy goddamn 11K. Dude, what is the meaning of life? I know he's 5'11", but he's got medium, medium work rates. He's left footed. And dude, those stats, he has 80 sprint speed, man. You give this guy an anchor, he goes up to 85 sprint speed, 88 acceleration, 90 something standing tackle, high 80s marking, 90 interceptions, High 80 slide tackle, 90 strength. And then you look at his short passing, his long passing, his agility, his reactions. Composure isn't great, but dude, honestly, I wish I, wish I was a good sniper, man. I wish I was a good sniper, man. Yeah, it's Rude Hullet's nephew. I actually thought it was Rude Hullet's son uh, for a few years. Dude, imagine you're the person that's picking these up for 13k. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Especially if you roll with like a I can't my brain isn't fun. It's just my I suck. I really do just suck, don't I? I honestly think this card's going to go up to like 35k tomorrow. I hate saying this because honestly, if I didn't mention anything and just tried to pick this card up off of stream without talking about it, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that he wouldn't be auto, you know, insta selling and whatever, but I do think I could have picked up a bunch of this guy for cheap and then cashed him out tomorrow. I honestly think that's a legitimate way to trade. It happened last last year as well man and imagine this guy's a cdm yeah exactly imagine being able to move this guy to left cdm in like a four two three one. Oh, it'd be so good it'd be so good um dude 25k how much did his Futmus card cost, people? Holy God, man. Oh, dude. There's money to be made here, bros. If you guys are better snipers than me, you're welcome. This is the way to do it. Now, this only happens a few times a year because obviously it's not always, it's not going to be, um, uh, an endless supply of people ripping open these team of the week packs and then selling off these players for dirt cheap but this is absolutely a way to make coins man you pick these up and don't resell them literally sit on these cards until tomorrow and they'll all boost up in price obviously then you want to resell them before um before uh what is it um uh fought champ rewards come out oh i thought i won that oh my god 
But that's definitely a way uh, to make a good amount of coins for sure. I'm just too fat and slow, honestly. <laughs> My brain doesn't function properly. Uh, thank you for the host, Al. Appreciate that. And thank you for anyone that's subbing. I know I'm getting a bit distracted here. So much to talk. You know what? I give up. I give up, okay? God. How you know what? I want it. I Another thing. I don't know if I'm going to be right with this. But did you guys see the boost in price to one to watch Ederson? Last, not even last week, even during the Man City game, he was 60,000 coins, okay? The second he saved that pen, whatever, he shot up. And up until an hour or two ago, he was going for 170 to almost 180,000 coins, okay? And I I said that I was like, dude, this 85 Ederson is going to be like 50k max, uh, you know, by tail end of the week. I know that a lot of people want this card and stuff like that, but like, I just envision his one to watch plummeting all the way back down to 70, maybe 80,000 coins, you know, maybe even cheaper than that. So I'd love to see where Ederson's inform price is right now. Um, you know, it's not going to be super cheap though. Even then 60,000 coins, bro. 60,000 coins. Who's buying his one to watch? Who's buying his one to watch for 170k? What brainless pleb is doing that? Now, how do you go find his one to watch? I wonder where his one to watch is dropping down to now with people freaking out. Do you think his one to watch is at 100k now? I'm not seeing any. Do one to watch is pop up as informs, right? Or sorry, as special cards. There it is. Dude, I called it, man. I called it. And I'm sure any trader that knows anything about anything would also have called it. Dude, 100k, bro. He was 180k like not even an hour ago. Oh my god, RIP people's coins that thought they were going to make money. These one to watches, you ha you have to sell in the hype, dudes. You have to be one of the people that picks them up before they do something in the game. As they do something in the game, even when they get a team of the week, you need to sell them before they're out in packs. Holy lord. If you're someone that dumped god knows how much money into like three, four, five of these for 150, 180k goodbye to your coins good god um okay so another one of the cards that i wanted to try and pick up because honestly to me he looks like a fast godly uh ebra essentially oh yeah he's got a left wing card too so i'm gonna have to try and cut out that card somehow all right let's uh i wonder how much his striker 86 is let's see is that Oh, there you go. 86 is 70. Oh, I should have bought that. Dude, I'm just dumb. I'm just dumb. I'm just dumb. That's probably sold as well, you know. I'm just dumb. Yeah, I know. I know you can make him a striker, but I guess throughout the week, I don't want to sit there because might, some might be a cam. Some might be a center forward. Look at this card, dudes. Look at that card, man. This card, 82 composure, not great. Uh, especially for someone that you want to finish chances. 81 finishing, also not great. 61, oh, you know what? It's not a great card, is it? 61 balance as well. You want to boost his pace. You want to boost his finishing. And you want to boost his dribbling. And there's nothing in the game that boosts pace, shooting, and dribbling. Like engine boosts pace, dribbling, and passing. If only there was. Um, so giving this guy a hunter card would make him insane. He'd go up to 93 sprint speed and 95 acceleration. That's nuts. I believe his finishing would go up either to 91 or 96. Attack, attack positioning goes up to 99. So hunter's incredible. But then he still only has 82 composure and 61 balance and 77 agility is not great. I didn't, I swear I did not. How's the man going to have 87 dribbling but 61 balance? I guess Ibra's kind of like that as well, isn't he? But four star, four star, oh, medium, medium work rates isn't great either. Damn, I wanted to do this for this upcoming weekend league. I wasn't going to do it for this episode. I wanted to do it for next episode. We've got potentially another squad builder in mind to do today. 
Um, but I was thinking for for next episode to do like a Fought Champ squad builder around him and a few of the new Prem informs. You know, Ake, uh, use my Red Mo Salah that you guys keep begging me to use in a squad builder because you all think he's amazing, even though I think he's a donkey. Um, you know, we could get Ibra back in the team at Cam. Could get Bakayoko back in the team and see if there is really a big difference between using him and Vieira for this weekend league run. Uh, I want to try out that inform Deli Ali as well. How much is that Deli Ali, dudes? Let's go see. And does he have another inform? No, this is his only. Well, he's definitely not going to be 75. He's going to be a lot. But how much is he going to be? Dude, he's already down to 136. 135 even. This is a good card, bros. This is a good card. This is a really, really, really good card. It's a good card. That seems almost too cheap. How slow I am. Look how terrible and fat and slow I am. Dude. Oh, I hate how bad I am at. Okay, so a three star weak foot isn't great, but let's talk right center mid. Let's talk right center mid. He's got 90 composure, 92 stamina. 86 finishing, 88 attack positioning. Screw it, he'd be an incredible cam. Again, 65 uh, balance isn't great. But this is a card that would benefit extremely highly from an engine. An engine would take him up to 84 sprint speed, 90 acceleration, 75 balance, 87 agility. It would boost his dribbling stats high as well. And then his passing would get boosted big time too. Dudes, I've said this before, even with the regular Deli Ali. This is a poor man's Pogba. Other than the weak foot and skill moves, this is a poor man's Pogba. It really is. It really is. A poor man's Pogba, of course, for all the for all the Spurs and England fans that are getting offended by that, obviously, I mean, a poor man's Pogba in terms of ultimate team. All right? <laughs> 120k? This guy's going to be 150, 160k tomorrow. Easy. Easy. The second I start looking at him, man, look at this, man. Look at this, dude. Look at this. Now his minimum price is 144. How many were there up for 135? Man. Man. All right, let's go check out this Firmino. Firmino, we used just his regular card in well, one of our first ever FUT champ runs. And you're going to have to somehow cut out his 85 rated team of the group stage. Are people delusional? They're still trying to sell him for this much? How much is the eight to six then? Let's do. You're the Peter Crouch of sniping. That's rude, okay? Striker. The other ones are striker as well, bros. There you go. 
155. Dude, what? See, like, I look at this card, and I know he's got better balance and stuff like that, but I consider a Deli Ali's inform on an engine to be better. If you want to use him as cam. Like, Deli Ali is 90 composure, dude. That's freaking huge, man. Now, I realize Firmino has high, high, four star, four star, so he's going to be a pretty sick card. But th this card does look really nice. I just, that 90 composure on, on Deli Ali looks super, super, super nice. Deli Ali's balance goes up to 76, anyways, or 75 or whatever it is on an engine. But yeah, this Firmino looks super, super nice. There's, I don't think there's any denying that. The 82 composure, if only had, like, just if only had 85 composure or something like that, you know? No, Nick, that's not accurate because Peter Crouch is slow, but he still doesn't waste his chances. You still miss your snipes even when you see them. Thanks! <laughs> okay, so maybe I'm like an Emil Heskey. I'm slow, and then even when I get chances, I miss them all. For the most part, anyways. Okay, I get it. I get it. I'm Emil Heskey, not Peter Crouch. Thank you. Thank, thank you for letting me know. Thank you for correcting that. I really appreciate you deep diving into the actual accuracy of calling me a Peter Crouch. Thanks. Thanks for not being satisfied with me being compared to Peter Crouch and thinking I'm actually worse than that. Thank you. Th thank you. Okay, so he's 160. Dude, I, st I think that's still cheap, man. I do. I honestly think that's still cheap. I want to go back and look at this uh, this deli again. It's just crazy. The, the amount that you see come up for relatively cheap is pretty intense, man. So what was it? 144? I bet she's up to 150 now. He's up to 150, isn't he? He's up to one. We dude, to me, this card looks sick. Dude, this card looks so sick, man. An engine and he's balling out. Really. 90 composure is insane, bros. I really think a lot of you guys don't, don't give the composure stat as much credit as it needs. 92 stamina and 90 composure. End game in clutch situations, this card would be sick, man. This card would be so sick. Sure, shot power isn't great, but guess what? All you got to do is put more power on your B button shots yourself. Nobody knows what qual composure does. Uh, I, we've had it explained out. Quantitatively, in terms of stats, we don't know exactly, obviously. But... End game, extra time, man. Honestly. Oh. The 95 Messi has 99 composure. Dude, the team of the year Messi, I'm so excited for, man. You have no idea. If the community doesn't vote in a team of the year Messi, I'm going to everyone's house individually, knocking on the door. Hey, how you doing? Flicking you right in the nuts and then running away. If Messi doesn't get in, if somehow Messi doesn't get into a community team of the year and fucking like Salah or Martial gets in, y'all are getting testicle flicked, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm I will spend the money to find where every single person lives that voted and you're getting nut flicked. All right? I don't care. I will even employ other people to help me do it. Okay? It's just, it's, it will happen. I swear to God, if you guys don't vote in messy, y'all getting punched. Well, maybe not punched. That's a bit too aggressive, but definitely testicle flicked. Okay. Do we want to look at that team of the year? Should we do that before I show you guys all? No, let's show you guys the trade pile first. We've been on ultimate team. I, I promise you guys we'd look at the voted in team of the year. So as mentioned, we've cashed out. We sold off Messi as well. We cashed out all the Gustavos again, made anywhere from a thousand to three, four, five thousand points profit on each one. Cause we ended up buying him for anywhere from just under 21,000 up to 22 or 20. I bought a few for 23. In hindsight, it makes a lot of sense if I decided to sell them all uh, earlier today. But anyways, it is what it is. But Leo Messi, we bought for 800k. A lot of people are going to say, why the hell did you sell them? Uh, because I want to be sitting on coins. I want to be ready for whatever is to come for team of the year. In terms of the cards I'm willing to get rid of. Cristiano Ronaldo, bought him for 1.7. Probably going to keep him until team of the season. Uh, for now, my goal is to get Messi's team of the year card. Come team of the season if Ronaldo gets in and if he's deserving of it and stuff like that. By then, 
we'll look at buying the best version of Ronaldo. But right now, for me, Team of the Year Messi is going to be. Well, I can still. I'm still recording. Are oh. you? It's it's 10:25 a.m. It's a mimosa. It's a. <laughs> what are we on vacation? Is this champagne actually? <laughs> Babe, this is uh, booze. It's 10:20. Honestly, my wife lives a permanent vacation. I swear to God. I mean, I benefit from it, definitely. But, like, I've got coffee here, for God's sakes. What the hell is this? This is going to make me have to take a poo. I'm mid-recording. Anyways. <laughs> oh, that was good. Guess I'll just go back to my coffee now. Um, is it Wasted Wednesday today? No, it's not. It is a Wednesday. For YouTube, it'll probably be a Thursday by the time this gets uploaded. But no, it's not a Wasted Wednesday at all. Definitely 100% not. Okay, so anyways, back to talking about the, uh, the club and the squad. I want to be sitting on the coins. Now, Messi did everything for us. I bought him for 800k. We sold him. We probably lost chat. Well, chat... YouTube comments will correct me, but we lost about 100, 110,000 coins on this Messi. But I used him for a month and a half. He helped us to two elite finishes. He helped us to elite three for two months in a row for um, monthly rewards. Again, next episode is going to be us opening our monthly rewards, claiming our um, our our uh, FUT champ rewards. I won't be opening them, of course, because we want to save those packs for team of the year. Um... But anyways, so he's done everything. Losing 100, 110K in, in two months is fine, I think. I, I, he's far outweighed the loss in coins just by how amazing he was, how fun he was to use. So I'm fine with that. Uh, Alba, I actually somehow made money on. Again, I'll show you guys the Gustavos. These are obviously um, marquee matchup players. That's just an expensive bronze. Um, and then I'll just, I'll show you every single one as we go through them. Modric I sold off as well. I actually broke even on Modric. I don't know how we managed to do that, considering the market's dipping pretty hard right now in preparation for Team of the Year. Um, again, don't tell me what this card is selling for, because again, I sold this Tuesday evening. I just saw that I was making profit and I decided to sell. I believe Wednesday morning, all inform prices skyrocketed before the tradable team of the weeks went out of packs. So I'm pretty sure that this guy went up to almost 30,000 coins, which is fucking insane. I could have made another 50, almost 100,000 coins profit, maybe more if I waited to sell, but it is what it is, right? You gotta, you gotta just take the profits when you can. Um, so again, all of the 85, 84 rated players, I was planning on holding on to them in preparation for uh, a Dino SBC. But again, I woke up today after listing up all of these other cards and being like, what the hell? 85s, 80, all the player prices, 84s, 83s shot right back up in price. So anything I had in my club, I decided to cash out. Uh, we got rid of Glick. We got rid of Ruffier. We got rid of Lozano that we used. We only lost, what, three, 4,000 coins on him. Sanchez, I lost. We bought for 29 and he's just sitting in my club doing nothing. Decided to get rid of him. No point in having a card sitting in my club doing nothing. So we lost like 11 or 12,000 coins on him. Uh, Vincent Company, we sold. Mata, the 84s were down to like, well, not 3,500. I think they're down to 4,500 coins. And we're all back up to 65 to 7,500. So I decided to cash out. Inui was going for like 13K, 12K, shot right up to 18, 19,000. So I listed up mine. Uh, you know, the 82s we decided to sell. Finally, Frulier again sold. I know it's not great to sell cards that are near discard, but I just wanted to cash out. Um, uh, 6,300 on the Manolas, 5,400 on the Asensio. I believe these ones expired as the packs came out. Yeah, as the packs left, essentially. So it is what it is. I decided to cash out completely. As of right now, we still have every single non-rare gold in the club. So I still have probably 100 to 200 non-rare gold sitting in the club. And then these are the duplicates of cards that uh, obviously we already have in the club. And we'll decide what we want to do there. I think coming up over the next couple of episodes, we're going to have monthly rewards, all of that good stuff. Uh, the episode after that, we should have League SBCs. So we're going to do League SBCs. It'll be a, a squad builder as well for FUT champs. 
League SBCs is also the reason why I don't want to get rid of the non-rare golds. A lot of you guys saying, well, why don't you just do the gold two-player upgrades and have those ready for Team of the Year as well? I actually will, even though I think that's a bit of a waste of the gold players. I don't think those packs are necessarily the best, even though we just recently got 87 um, Iniesta in one of them. But I will do it. So I just wanted to make sure that I waited till Friday. We see what the two new League SBCs are. We use the non-rare golds that we need in the League SBCs. And then after that, I'll rinse the club again, all over again, to get the 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 rare, just the regular rare. Maybe we'll do, you know what we could do for the Road to Glory? Why not? We could do, and I'm pausing the music for effect, as you guys uh, can tell. But why not do, literally, it's going to be based off of luck. But we could literally do four big Team of the Year pack openings. We do the final pack opening, which is all of the packs, 50k packs, 100k packs, all of that good stuff. That will be saved for the final Team of the Year pack opening. But we could do 25 of the regular two-player upgrade packs for Team of the Year. See what we get out of it. We then upgrade to maybe the 25 La Liga uh, player packs. See what we get out of it. Then for another video, we do the 25 81 plus packs. For a video and then we do the big saved up pack opening and we just see we just see what is actually the best pack or what was the luckiest set of packs for us for the team of the year i think that would be honestly absolutely insane so ake is now 37k and he was going for 15 to 20 000 coins see i i knew it dude i needed to i needed to have a brain i needed to have a brain you know when we were doing our intro 32 minutes ago the second the team of the weeks came out he was 15 to 20k and not even selling I, I honestly, I honestly should have just bought an infinite amount. We bottled it though. I bottled it. I tried to pick them up um, and uh, a little bit too late and the prices were already skyrocketing. Okay, so the next thing I want to do before we go into a squad builder and look at that stuff, let's finally have a look at the community voted team of the year. So I am actually going to, I think I'm going to pause the music again here real quick or... Let's turn the music down. I don't know if it's too loud. I, I, I doubt you guys can even hear the music, but um, let's turn it down here real quick. There we go. All right. So as I mentioned at the start of the video, uh, one of my own subscribers on Reddit came up with a really, really cool post. I'm going to read this really quick, okay? Because we already covered it last episode. I want to kind of get into the results and, and talk about uh, my opinion on the results and all of that good stuff. But here we are. So he basically says... Um, uh, yes, we know about a team. Oh, hold on. For those who are worried about voting uh, a voted team of the year poll. Yes, we know about a team of the year young French forward, but we still wouldn't be able to stop him. Yes, a team of the year Bayou would link perfectly in my Irish team. Obviously, a team of the year Bakayoko would take our souls regularly. And finally, a team of the year Sonaldo would be the best card in the game. All facts. But none of them made the short list for team of the year. And it would be, I would be willing to bet that EA uh allow us to vote for the bench reserves but only from the shortlist that said we may still be dealing with some really overpowered players so a lot of people seem to think that oh god the community voted team of the year is going to be shambles we're going to get musas i agree with this reddit user that I, if they were to even do that they would give us the votes from the shortlist itself that would be the only logical way to do it right Logic, EA Sports, FIFA, sometimes those two don't go together very well. But I think in this case, they're absolutely going to make sure they do the best possible promotion that they can in that regard. Um, and, you know, how else to do it other than that? For ease of use, I've added all of the shortlist players. Given that there are 23 spots to fill, including reserves, uh, I would say that those 11... Uh, the 11 of the spots that are already confirmed 11 players, right? So, as I mentioned, I think as well... I think it's the only intelligent way to do it. EA will give us the 11 confirmed team of the year slots and they leave us 12 spots to vote for in subs and reserves. So something along the lines of a goalkeeper, four defenders, three midfielders, three attackers, and then one player that maybe had the most, most votes in each position. Um, so that all said, there was a casted vote. Again, check the last episode if you want to go through we spent like half not half an hour probably 10 15 minutes going through deciding what we wanted deciding and looking at based off of stats and then kind of selfishly what i would have wanted and then we got our votes in okay here is the results of the votes now unfortunately tyrod wasn't willing to spend a little bit of the money to see all of the uh voted results which is unfortunate i think that's how survey monkey gets people's money um but uh, yesterday I posted this now with a total of 13,000 views and over now 2,800 respondents we're gonna get the results um, of course unfortunately with SurveyMonkey etc you can't see all of the um, 
uh, every result. But apparently, I don't know how he managed to do that, but uh, they suck as a company. I found a way to see every single response. I just won't look pretty. Oh God. I have to go through every response and add them to a bar or a graph individually. Um, now maybe, do we look at the 100 responses free tier first? Um, there may be a slight numerical errors in results, but nothing major. Um, so what should I click? What would be the best one to look at? Would it be the 100 free tier one? The results? The results if they first look fuzzy on mobile? Should we do this one? Should we click this one? I kind of, I kind of don't want to have it. You know what? Let me block the screen real quick. That way, so it, the, the effect of the result. What in God's name is this? Ah, uh, yo, this is actually really well done. I mean, it's not, it's again, it's a bit clunky and not, not, not the best, but it's not bad. Okay. What about these results? Oh, I wish he ordered them in actual, hold on, hold on. I'm going to find it for, I'm going to try and get, is this the one that's properly ordered? No, not really. Okay. Well, we'll try to piece it together ourselves, dudes. Uh, the results, the top one. Okay. All right. Let me uh, let me get that sorted. Okay. So here we are, dudes. If our community, at least 2,800 of them, were to vote on the remaining players uh, for each position. Again, please make sure you watch the section of the video where we voted and did everything last episode. I don't want to go through that all again. But the community would have voted for... Um, so in terms of the attackers, we would then get a Mbappe. Wait, hold on. Where's Lukaku? In oh my God. Okay, here you go. So we would have gotten an Mbappe, a Harry Kane, and a Luis Suarez. That's actually not bad. That's actually not bad at all. So if the, if our community would vote, that's not terrible. You know, I would have for some reason thought that like the community would heavily have voted for a Lukaku or something. Benzema. Benzema got zero votes. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what a donkey. Oh my God. Okay. So we would have a team of the year, a community voted team of the year. I'm going to write this down of Mbappe, um, Suarez and Kane. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's go over to the midfielders here real quick. So in, wait. Okay. Uh, uh don't want to try, try not to spoil it for you guys here. Okay. So in terms of the midfielders, this is a little bit better the way you organize it. So it, of course, in Golo Kante, the lion's share of votes, fair play. Absolutely. Uh, Paul Pogba in second place. I know a lot of, obviously this does not surprise me, but anyways, what are you going to do? And then Eden Hazard. So I would have personally at least sort of liked to see Casemiro in there, I, I think, instead of a Pogba. Um, you know, and even Eden, Eden Hazard could have been replaced by uh, by a few others, but whatever, it is what it is. Conte getting in there is fair. I think I would have liked to see a Casemiro maybe and a Hazard or something along those lines, but that's the FIFA community for you, right? So no surprises for anybody. Conte, Pogba, God bless and um eden hazard okay all right so i think the one red herring here is definitely paul pogba but it's just you gotta you gotta you gotta take this for what it is at the end of the day again a lot of people will complain that the team of the year voted by actual footballers ends up just being a popularity contest the fifa community has time and time again proven that when we get to vote for players the large majority of FIFA fans and football fans, I would say globally, are huge fans of the Premier League. And as such, we all end up voting heavily for the Premier League versus other players or even players that may end up deserving it from certain other leagues. That's just the way it is, you know? Um, that's just the way it is. Anyways, in terms of Team of the Year Defenders, so we are picking four of them. We would end up getting, fair enough, Giorgio Chiellini. Of course we would get Boateng. Alaba... And Valencia. I voted Valencia as well, selfishly, because I wanted to get a Valencia Team of the Year card. That would literally... A Team of the Year Valencia, I don't think you guys understand, would be the best right back we've ever seen in the history of FIFA. For sure. But here you go. So this is the community voted Team of the Year. Okay? For defenders. So we get an Alaba. Alaba. 
Chiellini, um, who I think would have deserved it. Uh, Boateng is a bit banterous in every shape or form, but hey, it's the FIFA community voting for it. So what are you going to do? And then Valencia. Wow, man. Honestly, I am blown away that this many people would have voted in that exact form. Uh, and then Varun gets in there as well. Good Lord. <clears throat> All right. And then in terms of goalkeepers, I don't think this should be a surprise to any. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, all right. And then the goalkeeper ends up being David De Gea. Jesus, look at the vote. <laughs> look at the voting. All right. And then didn't we have one extra vote as well? Didn't we have one extra vote? What was the point of the one? The one, the final vote was a little bit incorrect because it, it yeah, I don't know how they would have got that in there. So I guess then the final vote would be the next guy that had the most votes, right? That wouldn't have been included. So it could end up being a Casemiro or a Varan. I think actually a Casemiro has more than Varan or 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 a Lewandowski or no, actually it would be Dybala, wouldn't it? It would be a Dybala, Lewandowski or Casemiro, I think, would get the final slot. So I think it would be Dybala would get in that final slot. So, I mean, there you have it. Some absolutely insane votes from the FIFA community, but we all expected it. Like, you know that that's the way it's going to roll. You've seen the fuddies. You've seen us vote on fuddies for the last three, four years, and we all do the same thing. <laughs> Benzema. I can't believe out of 2,500 people or 2,800 people or whatever the actual tally is, not a single person voted for Kareem Benzema. That is... <laughs> <laughs> that kind of makes me uh, a little bit happy. I'm not going to lie. So, I don't know. I, I enjoy it. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do you agree with it? Do you massively disagree with it? Um, you know? Midfielders needs to be Conte, Tiago, and then one of Isco and Casemiro. Conte will get it for sure. Tiago, Isco, Casemiro all uh, had baller-worthy seasons. Again, but it... Just like the regular pro player voted team of the year it unfortunately De Bruyne wasn't in the wasn't in the the finals dudes De Bruyne for those of you guys that clearly haven't watched the video or been in yesterday's stream um De Bruyne didn't even make it into the the final ballot votes um like outside of the 11 he didn't even make the subs and reserves like in terms of voting so he's just not even in in the voting if we were to take this as an example of how people um um, would go. So, just like how pro players don't necessarily vote for the most fair and absolute deserving players, they vote for their favorites, they vote for their teammates, their countrymen, the ones that they like the absolute most, being it, being that their favorites, the community voted team of the year is going to be the same thing, dudes. So, dear God, I honestly hope to God that EA doesn't see this. Like, I really hope EA doesn't see this video. Let's say they were to release the team of the year in a couple of weeks or in a month or in a couple of days. Dudes, if they see that, they're going to be like, um, yeah, maybe we won't do a community voted team of the year. Maybe we won't. Maybe we won't do that at all. If this is a litmus test, if you will, of where the community would vote, maybe we won't go that way. <clears throat> you know? There are devs definitely reading Reddit or watching your videos. Probably your streams over your videos. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Be very interesting to see, dude. An emergency meeting made? Uh, guys, did you see the community voted in that video that idiot 28T put up? We're not doing it. Cancel all plans. We'll see. Be interesting to see what team of the year looks like then. But I, I think I, I think that's a very, very interesting, um, interesting set of... Um, of, uh, of of voted in players. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised in the least. This community doesn't watch football. No, that's wrong. This community does watch football. The difference is this community, myself included, and without you trying to be a pompous pleb, I'm sure you as well, would vote over, vote your favorites over what absolutely is deserved. Even last episode, when we were sitting there voting, I kept having to tell people that I realize my votes are more so what I would selfishly like to see in FIFA or in my team versus who absolutely deserves it. It's not that this community doesn't want it's to watch 
football. It's not that pro players don't watch or understand football. It's just that your favorite's bias always, always overrides sanity. Which is probably why community voted in things for FIFA don't happen very often. I'm sure EA know that better than us. It's unfortunately that we've now, uh, we've now realized it as well. All right, so there's so much stuff that I wanted to do, but here we are almost an hour into the episode. I wanted to do a full tournament run um, based off of the new feature tournament. So apparently the new feature tournament has silver requirements. So maximum of four gold players in my starting 11 and subs. So what I wanted to do was build this cool um, silver hybrid of sorts or just cool silver squad and then run through this tournament because why not get another 5k gold pack if we can do it? Now, I think we could build the squad, but in terms of the gameplay, I'll probably leave the gameplay to the stream. So I think that is what the plan is um, is going to be. Now, do we use, like, Ronaldo and then just run rampant on, um, on my opponents? Let, let's actually go to a new squad selector. Like, imagine Cristiano Ronaldo running at, uh, let's go, what's this okay EA thing? I have no idea what this is. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. So if I've got Cristiano Ronaldo, right? I've got Cristiano the Ron Cristiano the Ronaldo. First of all, let's see what options we have in terms of silvers in La Liga. That's the first stage, right? What type of silvers do we got in uh in La Liga? Nano. Oh my god. Okay, so we don't we don't we really don't have anything great. We really really don't have any, uh have anything great. Okay. So then the question is is do we use the donkey? Do we use Okay, so I'm thinking I need one good defender, right? And that's got to end up being uh it's got to end up being Rio. Actually, could probably use more for the bants. Nah, let's go Rio. So we've got a good attacker, we've got a good defender, and then we've got a spot for two more gold cards. Do we use one of them to get Ronaldo just easy chem? And then from there, we've got to... Uh... I mean, I could try. You know what? Should we do Burkamp? Why not? Why the hell not? Yeah, we got we packed Burkamp last episode. Not even clickbait. Kind of clickbait. Um... So that's Ronaldo on 8 chem. That's Ronaldo on 8 chem right there. And then maybe goalkeeper as a gold? Let me see. What do we have? What do we have for silvers in the prem? I'm thinking I've got a lot of decent Yeah, dude. 69 handling is a bit scary. What about green? Show a little bit of love to green. That's not a bad card. It's not a great card. That's not a bad card. What about green? Do we try green? Should we try green? Oh my god, dude. What am I doing? Um, I mean, honestly, to get Ronaldo on chem, I think this is probably the easiest way to do it. Legit. You know, it's kind of boring. I'm not going to lie. But you've got two amazing attackers. You've got a great midfielder. You've got a great center back. And Ronaldo on chem. Right? Now, could we do something super cool like um, Patrick Clivert's son? Oh, he does start out as a silver. What about Justin Clivert? Dude, how much are you, Justin? Three? Let's try, let's try Justin Clivert. Let's try just Justin Clivert. And then I think we got to get Dave Myler in there somehow um, as well. I don't believe I have Dave Myler in our team, but... 
with what Dave Myler has done and that crazy surprise that he did for us getting me that Leeds United signed kit with my name on it and the entire team signing it and stuff like that. How can you not use Dave when, when you possibly can? Oh God, Dave, your stats, please though. What is this? Oh my Lord, have mercy. That's a fresh Dave. There we go. Give me that Dave for 600 coins. Beautiful. 69 rated. Of course he's 69 rated. Of course he's six. Dude, this team is going to be sweet, man. This brings me back to like FIFA 16, poor man, Road to Glory, where we used to put together just the weirdest teams ever, man. All right, so we got Justin Clivert in there. He's definitely going to need finishing because he's actually going to be a forward. Oh my God, what do I do with this card? Yeah, I think giving him a Deadeye would actually be pretty decent, you know. He's got great agility, balance, good dribbling. Composure's horrifying, but whatever. With And you know what's funny? With a Deadeye, it should technically take him to 79 finishing. Oh, God! I'm going to miss so many chances! <laughs> okay. Um, and what do we, So what do we do with Dave? We put, we're going to put Dave in the midfield, right? Let's see what we got here. Wait, what? Where's Dave? Um, what in the hell? Oh my God. I've got Peter Crouch, dude. Forgot I had this dude. Uh, I forgot that Dave was relegated dudes. I thought this was last year. Oh, Dave, come on, man. You're making this squad even harder to build. Oh, we've got Vernon Anita, though. Oh, for God's sakes. Dudes, I forgot about that, man. Totally forgot. This is going to be the worst team ever. <laughs> this is actually going to be the worst team. Um, I do not have any other championship players. Hold on. Dude, Alioski is an actual boss. I, I, dude, I really like this guy. Um, this is a, like, this is actually a decent silver card too. Um, yeah, we could go Odubayo, but. How much am I going to have to spend on an Odubayo, dudes? Odubayo. Odu we used him last year as well. He was so fun, man. Sick card. How much is he this year? Oh, he's not, okay. He's not that much money. Sure. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I mean, considering we've got almost 3.7 million coins. I think we can. I think we can. Uh, we can. We can get an Odubayo in there. Why not? Who cares if he's used or not? I'm going to sell him anyways afterwards. Doesn't matter. Okay. Cool. Hmm. Now, is there a crazy overpowered maybe Irish mid that I could use? Because Dave's now going to have full chem just with any link. Right? Nada Manua, how we packed yesterday, didn't we? I, I already got rid of him, though. Um, Let's see what we have for the Prem first. Let's see what we got for the Prem for Silvers. Oh, hell yes. He might be almost too similar to Rio, though. Whatever. Doing it. Doing it. Ronaldo Vieira? Do I have Ronaldo Vieira? Let me double check. Let's go with our boy Ronaldo Vieira, man. Let's go with our boy Ronaldo Vieira. Sure. I don't even think I've packed him this year, have I? Um. Where is he? Oh, he's a... Oh, let's go. Ronaldo Vieira is a silver this year. 
Wait, why haven't they changed his nationality to England, though? He's already played, like, in a whole bunch of England tournaments. Why is he not? That's weird. Oh, well. So, Ronaldo Vieira will be at one of our box-to-box -box mids for sure. Dude, can I show you guys something awesome? Can I show you guys? I've been fanboying over Ronnie Vieira for a while. Let me show you something really cool, dudes. How awesome is this? How awesome is this, boys? We've made it. He follows me. I follow him and he follows me and we have the best, the best relationship ever. Uh, anyway, sorry. Uh, I just fanboyed a bit, but still. What an absolute boss. Um, all right. So we got to get him in the team for sure. Who even is that? Can we ban that guy, please? Thank you. Can we ban him? It's Ronaldo Vieira. Okay. Um, okay, so we can slot him in. There we go. Slot him in here. What a team, though. <laughs> What a team. Dave is going to be in the midfield, dude. God help us. Actually, maybe we'll use, we'll use Dave as our CDM. What do you think, chat? Is there any um, requirements in terms of uh, upgrade cards, stat cards? Because I could literally, I've got like, they're all bronze and silver stat cards, but why the hell not, right? Okay, and then let's see what we got in the prem here. Just go with Bong, because why not? Got Mason. What do we have in the... Uh... I don't really have anything great in terms of uh, in terms of left backs. <laughs> maybe we can do... Um... Maybe we'll look at English. Not a terrible card. Might go with him. French. What do you mean French? Oh, I could get a super link. Okay, got you. Got you, got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could get a super link there. I see that. I see that. That's a good call. Okay. Let's have a look at uh let's have a look at French. Let's have a look at French. See what we got here. I don't really have anything great though, dudes. I and mean, this guy probably is a bit better. Better defending, much better physical. Wow, good overall. Oh my god, look at his standing tackle and stuff though. Goodness. Okay. Anyone else? Amavi isn't in the is Amavi in the game? I will get Amavi, dude. We're rolling it back. Remember Amavi? I think from Project Zlatan in FIFA 16. Is Jordan? Is it? Was it, uh, is it Jordan? I remember he got such a. Yeah, Jordan's in the game. Yo, I'm going with Jordan all day, all day. Yo, we are. Bri oh my God. Whatever. I just bit on. I hate my life. I could have bought that card and I bid on it. I'm not spending 10k on this card, dudes. I'm not. I'm sorry. I don't care. I don't care how much money we have or don't have on the road to glory. I'm not doing it. I just got heartbroken there. I'm not going to lie, bros. All right. So we got a, a few things here. We also got to pray that we do not go to extra time. Because I'm stacking my bench with bronzes. Uh, well, that dude's untradeable. That's weird. Okay. Wait, you know what? Let me, uh, let me see what I got for, like, some, maybe, like, some big boy, um, silver subs. I might have something cool in here that I, I just didn't even realize I had. Let's see. We have anything in terms of a like an awesome super sub? Uh Crouch? I mean he'd probably score, you know. Okay, so Crouch is an idea, maybe. 
Two meter Peter? Super sub of dreams? Who the hell is this guy? Holy what? Oh, I thought he had five star skills. Never mind. Oh my god, I forgot about Marco Sal. Dude, that's a super sub right there, for sure. Forget two meter Peter. Marco Sal is the super sub for sure. Um I actually can't even remember if his name is Marco Sal. I think it is. I've got like some cool young players like Ren Adelaide and stuff like that too, pack pulled. Could could do something something along those lines. Harit. What nationality? I mean, I know he's French, but I think he just changed nations, didn't he? Or or playing nations, if you will. Is this a B Tech Mbolo? Uh, Adama from Burrow? Uh, I might actually have him. No. Mm, let's see. Prem, and then let's go low high. So we look at the untradables first. I might actually have him, dudes. Okay, I, I lied. I, I don't have him. But, Cook. Perez, oh my god, oh, great. What about great? Oh my god, I've got actually some really sick cards here. That would be a decent box-to-box -box mid, for sure. Um, yeah, sorry, Burr, hold on. Just everybody relax for a sec. Perez as well. I Yossi Perez, I always thought was going to be so sick, man. I always thought this guy was going to be awesome. Newcastle fans, has he just been as much of a flop as... I think he is, or has he ever, ever come good at all? Dude, I kind of want to roll with Iozzi Perez. It's a nice card. Only, only three-star skills, but Charlie Adam. I, I, I just have too many players. Okay, two-meter Peter is not going to, uh, got, not going to get touched then. Um, this guy's a baller too, isn't he? Dude, there's so many young talents that are young, yeah, young talents. I think that's fair to say. Um, talents anyways, that we could be going with. Perez just doesn't try. Look at, we've already completed this SBC and look at how many untradables we have back in the club again. This guy just wasn't given a chance, I feel, but whatever. Um, I want Alioski in the team, man. I want Alioski. I want to bring on Alioski. So, for sure, I like Alioski a lot. Uh, I want to bring him on. I think we're going to have Perez as a super sub. And, um, and then we're going to get some pace with uh, Sal. There we go. That's what we're going with. That's going to be the squad, dudes. That's going to be... Should we try and play one game? I, I wasn't planning on playing the games in the recording or anything like that, but could do. Could do for sure. There we go. Um, uh, management. So we're looking at... Uh, championship dutch and that would give us chem oh god okay championship dutch do i have a ch england dutch let's get, get everybody on chem when we can right german dutch mr de boer i might even just have a championship dutch manager i should holy god look how far you can scroll in per page where are all the dutch managers man they all have they all just given up considering the national team is so trash bags? What is what the hell? No, seriously, where are the Dutch managers? There's n what? That's it? All right. Well, let's let's try that one more time again then. 
Realize I had Komen, but it's Prem. I don't really want to switch to Championship, though. Whatever. You know what? Ronnie is going to be a baller no matter what. Dave is going to be a baller as well no matter what. That should be fine. And then we've got Iozzi Perez and Sal. Okay. All right. Let's see. Um, I think we're going to have to adjust a few things here and there, though. Right? Considering I have 636 training items. Let's give Dave 89 defending. He's going to be our CDM. For one game, at least. Um... I want to actually have a look at what that boosts their stats to. Um, Ronnie Vieira is going to be box to box. So why don't we just give him an overall boost? There you go. I think those are more deserving stats anyways for him. Uh, Justin Clivert has the worst finishing I've ever seen. So we're going to give him shooting. No way, that's passing. There we go. 85 shooting. Let's go. Okay. Um, there you go. Making players a little bit more useful defensively let's improve this guy defending there you go so now he has 75 defending perfect uh let's give twanzibi 87 defending sweet jesus okay uh adubayo will give him defending as well perfect and then there you go beautiful hey man we do bronze packs we've got these sitting here for a reason might as well let's actually have a look though at what clivert stats go up to look at his finishing now 86 finishing holy toledo okay um oh wait i went the wrong way my bad okay so ronnie now has 83 sprint speed good balance decent tackling and stuff so he's going to be a perfect right center mid box to box Look at Dave, man, with his defensive stats now. 90 standing tackle, 82 sliding tackle. Don't you absolutely love how chemistry styles, the boost in stats we don't see in game, but other websites have them. Yet, when you apply a stat card to a player, you actually see the in-game boost in stats. Why have they not implemented that with chemistry styles yet? Like... I don't... Yeah, 99 kindness. I, that just blows my brain, man. That EA literally has clearly the mechanics to give us actual visible stat increases as they do with stat cards. And they can't do it with chemistry styles. It just... Come on, man. What are you guys up to, dudes? Um, oh my god. I'm still gonna get destroyed. We all know that. I'm so bad at this game this year, man. All right, let's see if we can get so we can find someone in the round of uh, the round of sixteen real quick. I wasn't planning on I was gonna just end the episode here, but why not see if we can get a game in with these silvers? So it'll be, it'll make the episode a little bit longer, unfortunately or fortunately, depending on what some people enjoy from this series. But let's see if we can find a game for the next little bit. I still have not eaten my breakfast. This is now an ice cold egg. Oh wow. Because chem styles don't boost anything. Idiots. Did that guy legit quit? Okay. Do you think, did he see Ronaldo? Look at how fast you find games in the daily knockout tournament, man. So good. This is bait. You know that this guy's not... It's the same guy! Uh, look, we're gonna be here for a while, dudes. If I'm matching up against one dude that is not willing to play a random person, God knows. Uh, dude, just please, for the love of Christ, play. All right. What team are you gonna have versus what team am I gonna have? You was this guy really dodging me? See, and you guys say I shouldn't be using boost cards when this guy's using boost cards. Wow. I gotta say, it's just a cool team. It really is a cool team. Okay. So. I'm gonna try and counteract this guy's 4-1-2-1-2. Because two, two, you know he's gonna stick with it. Let's go 4 2 three, one. Um, So go Dennis the Menace in the middle. Ronnie Vieira. I'm gonna try and use him wide right for a little bit. Actually wide left. And if he doesn't work out, we'll bring on Alioski. Or actually we'll bring on Marco Sao. Okay. So we're gonna do that. God. I really hope I don't get salty. Undoubtedly, I'm going to concede about 15 goals here. Alright. 
Cool, cool. Definitely just a stream and or YouTube sniper. Oh, maybe. Maybe he was just trying to see it all pop up on stream. Yeah, that's a good point. I didn't think about that. Who cares? Whatever. It's not weekend league, so it doesn't matter. Holy Lord, Palacios, that's a good tackle. I wonder if this guy realizes his right back is like 8k. Ref, thank you. Cristiano's gonna bang! Cristiano's gonna bang! How many yards is this? 4,000 yards? We're doing it. And... Bish! Oh my god damn! What the hell? <laughs> 8,000 yards away! Alright, anyways, it was going out of bounds. Keeper just made it, made the save for clearly no reason at all. Ronnie? Where are we going, Ronnie? Where are we going, Ronnie? Two Ronaldos and two Vieras in one team. Believe that. Where are we going, baby? Davey? Come on. Justin? To Cristiano! Oh, Reed Wald, that's a good tackle. Now into Bergkamp, you can oh my god. Dude, that Primal Matador is going to ruin my day, for sure. He's facing a silver green and a silver Twanzabi or whatever. Well, oh god. Literally the first thing the guy does is score. Oh, this is going to be a long game. This is going to be a long game. <laughs> All right. I'm assuming I'm just going to be facing Park the Bus from here. Now into Bergkamp, you can sense the anticipation. <laughs> Guys, do I? I don't know how to. I, this is my job, and I don't know how to play this game. What is the meaning of life, dude? Who is that? Who even are you, even? Palacios. Well, I like the look of this attack. In with a chance, and it hit the post and went in. It's a pretty good goal. Burkhap made me look like a bitch. He literally could have shot that anywhere. Pretty sure he would have scored that. In hindsight, maybe using green was a bad idea. Yeah, and I think he deserved that though because struck it well and right into the corner. Burkhap. Burkhap. Referee's given them a free kick. In a real position of some danger to the opposition. All right, I'm gonna try Dennis Burkham for this one. He's got nice stats. Takes on the shot. Wow! Oh, that is his party piece. Wow! Apologize for being too sexual. Okay? Right back in the game. Good lord, Dennis the Menace. That's probably because he has a silver goalkeeper, I'm assuming. Like, why did that go in the net? I fired that right at his keeper. <laughs> Holy Jesus, God. Oh, this is bear cum. This is bear cum. Oh, my God. Dude, I literally could have passed that at the keeper and it would have went in the net. This is a nightmare, dudes. I'm assuming any shot on target is going to be a goal. <clears throat> That's a great pass. Ah, uh, it's a waste of possession. Shouldn't have done that. That was silly. That was silly. Come on. There is Bearcom! Oh, God. No, Dennis, please. He has the prime Dennis, too. Lucky guy. I wouldn't mind getting that prime uh, Vieira. We've got to see how much the cost of Team of the Year Messi is going to be, though, before we do the Vieira. Get rid of the donkey for the Vieira and have Ronaldo, Team of the Year, Messi, and Dennis Bergkamp as my front three. God bless. Even go 4-2-3-1 and have uh, Hazard out wide. 
Good try. Okay. Why is his keeper making wonder saves, though? Oh my god, imagine that 4-2-3-1 setup. Or 4-1-2-1-2, depending on what I wanted to use. But 4-2-3-1, Team of the Year Messi wide left, Red Hazard wide right, Prime Dennis the Menace in the middle, and Cristiano Ronaldo at striker. And then, eventually, we'd get ourselves a, uh, we'd get ourselves a Dino. Wait, how do you, why is it selecting, there we go. That's kind of what I wanted. It's short the corner this time. Man's literally just covering passing lanes. Fair play. Burkamp. Oh! Burkamp off the crossbar! Oh! Come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. Show some composure, Dave! Come on, dude! Let's go. Dennis! Yes! Let's go! Dennis Burkamp body checks his player to the ground like this is NFL Blitz from 1998. And then smashes in the goal. Let's go. All you gotta do with these silver goalkeepers is just get a shot on target, dude. 97 composure for Burkamp, man. I kind of am regretting using Dennis Burkamp because even after, what is that? 10 minutes or 20 minutes, I'm realizing how much better he is than the donkey. And that's just gonna make me wanna do his prime instead of saving everything for Dino. And then when Dino comes out, I'm going to then regret that I didn't save everything for Dino. For God's sakes. I'm such an idiot. Come on, Dave. Here we go. Justin, want to make a run for me? No? Okay. David Milo. Patty Cakes. Sierra. Ronnie. Let's go, baby. Let's go, Ronnie. Clever ball. Attacking now. Ronaldo Vieira. That was a great pass. Oh, my God. Read it. Let's go, Dave. Imagine I could use his 99 rated card. That'd be cool. Oh, you bottled that. Overcommitted hard, dude. Okay, that's a terrible cross. I forgot that I'm not using Valencia and I'm using Odubayo. Oh, no. Overcommitted big time. Good tackle. We're chilling though. Pastor Dennis Bergkamp takes it in easily. What am I up to? Why am I why am I forcing it so hard like there? Why why am I not just taking my time? Causing him to panic a bit. You know? Dribble, do do a bit of close dribbling with Ronaldo. Try and wiggle the right analog stick because I have no idea how to do skills, so I just wiggle the stick and pray to God that some sort of skill move comes off. Justin, make that run, baby! Let's go. Okay. Well, Schlupp is shitting on my soul right now at uh left back. Dude, this is what I miss, though. Like, uh, this is what I miss from, like, previous years. All those really cool tournaments we used to get. Like, this gives you a small taste of, like, my opponent's squad versus my squad. And just, like, bringing back the fun to FIFA 18. Like, I would implore you guys. I know it's unfortunate that you have to go into the daily knockout tournament and essentially knock out people that might not be in the weekend league. But EA don't give us an option to play fun FIFA games other than through this medium um but it's i don't know man it just it's so much more enjoyable using these new interesting players dave myler ronaldo Vieira. it's just idiotic that we don't have this as an option to play all the time you know fair play to my opponent he's he's having fun with it he scored a beautiful goal against me i've scored a free kick uh, I, I wish they would come up with more stuff like this. I genuinely think this would bring way more people into the game. Um, all right, Ronnie, I love you, brother, but we're going to have to bring on uh, Mr. Sal. I need a bit more pace down that side of the field. Um, Justin Clivert, I'm going to use for another little bit, and then we'll bring on Alioski, I think. <clears throat> nice jacket, Nick. I like it. Dude, this is the jacket that Twitch sent me in, like, early 2014 for, like, when I got partnership or whatever. Um... I, I'd love to get some Twitch gear. It's been like four years. Twitch has never sent me literally anything ever. Ever. Um, like, I'd love to have just some cool Twitch gear to wear.
Nick, do the prime bird camp. I I gotta I gotta hum and haw about it for a while. Honestly, I really do. Because I realized that Costa is gonna make that about 400k cheaper to do, but it's still a million coins gone, right? And that's a goal. Oh, green! What a save, dude! Big save. Wow, I can't believe I couldn't get there. That is a big save. In goes the corner. I don't have any options. Oh my god. I literally, I mean, I keep forgetting I'm using a bronze left back. I literally just wanted to turn around to give myself a passing option there. That's terrible. That's a goal. Up, 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 up. Good tackle. Go, go, go. Break, 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 break. Terrible pass. Marco Sal? Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Now this is an interesting attack. Oh, what a slide tackle block from Palacios, dude. I was trying, I took the ball way too wide there. Maybe I should have done a fake shot stop. Oh God, I would have looked like a baller if I did a fake shot stop there. His Palacios would have just slid right past me. Um, okay, let's give this to Dennis the Menace again. What in the fuck, Dennis? Apologies for... Oh, Dave. Oh, it would have been just poetic if Dave scored to make it. Oh, God, that pass. Dude, what is happening, man? Oh, God, man. My passing needs work. It's not good enough. This really... Using these types of players, though, really gives me an appreciation for, like, my actual players. You know? Like, for even someone like Bailly, or someone like even Begovic, you know? Or whatever. Or inform Goretzka. You just see, feel really how... What am I doing, man? I really don't know how to use 4-2-3-1 anymore. I've used 4-1-2-1-2 so much that, like, I, I think I've just... Oh, that's a goal. That's game over, probably. Jesus. Honestly, the only reason I'm not losing about 5-2 is thanks to Green. And undoubtedly that silver boost stat on him what in god's green earth am i doing <laughs> what i can i it's as if every single pass of mine is now just going astray i don't know why simple passes i feel like that i should make i whether or not i'm using bronzes or silvers or whatever Oh my lord. Risky business. Oh, there you go. He overcommitted with his right back. Come on, Justin. And his right back's catching me. I can't believe this, man. I can't get anything going. Who? God damn, man. Green, thank you. I do not deserve to win this game. Based off of the last 20 minutes, I do not deserve to win this game. Short corner designed to move the opposition around in the middle. Okay. Panic, panic, panic. Panic, 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 panic. Trust his panic! Ooh, almost. Palacio. Okay, I think Alioski's got to come on. Tail end of the game here. My, my, my freaking uh, Justin Clivert's dead. Oh, I don't deserve it. I don't deserve it. I really do not deserve it. It's a good goal. I'm very happy with that play. Ronaldo, lovely pass into space, but I don't deserve it, man. My green has made about five or six huge saves. Look at this play. Oh, that's a lovely pass. Alright, we'll see where we're at at the end of the game. If I'm beating this guy, I might just score a few own goals and let him go through. Who knows? This guy might need to... Although he's got all these prime players. You never know, right? He might need to actually qualify for the weekend league, so I don't really care. We're already qualified. 
So I think if by the 88th minute or whatever, he hasn't... or I, I think this guy just on his own could beat me easily. Um, but if by like the 85th minute he's not, I'll... Uh, I'll just... Patrick Vieira. I'll capitulate. It's Vieira. Here you go. I would assume a, an equalizer is coming. Dave, big tackle, man. Here's Vieira. Now Bergkamp. Neatly intercepted. Poor play. It is coming to... Poor, poor, poor play. Stay in your lane. I don't know what lane that is, but I'll, I'll do my best. All right, so Alioski here. There we go. All right. I bet he's qualified. That team is way too good, and he's a decent FIFA player. Yeah, he probably is, but you never know, right? The guy could have taken a uh, a, a month off of FIFA or not played last week and might not just be qualified. So I feel like this guy's a classy enough FIFA player where the least I can do is not kick him out, right? We're just having a bit of fun here anyways. I'm not too worried about it. I usually get to the daily knockout final and then, you know, uh, forfeit out of it. Well, here you go. Wow, what dangerous. the? He doesn't need my help. <laughs> oh God, Green getting nutmeg there. <sighs> I don't know how that happens, man. You've got the lead. You're using four-two-three-one. Your players all just overcommit up the field, so you get two on one counterattacked. When you have the lead in a relatively yeah. defensive formation, like this doesn't make sense, Aldo. man. Sal. Aldo. Shots on Dude, what in the? F Look at those well. just Wijnaldum. endless blocks to stop those passes. Played forward, a bit of menace in this attack. He's got his shot off now. Very important corner now. Let's see what they can do. All right. Uh, I think we'll still go, Dennis. Dude, Dennis, what? It, like, what is that corner? That's nowhere near where I'm actually aiming it to. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. All right, let's see what this guy's got. Is he going to score this chance? What's he going to do here? Dennis Bergkamp's got the ball here. Well, time for one last attack now. Yeah, probably. For a late winner. Can they nice get tackle. It? Three minutes from the... Plus three of added time. All right, let's see if I can get a cheesy goal here. If not, we'll just turn around. Patrick Vieira. There you go. All right, go for it, dude. Game's yours. Go, 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 go. Don't piss around with it too much. Ref's going to blow the whistle. Okay, just give you the ball back. Just... Uh, I guess we're going into extra time. Oh, good lord. So that's a very... All right, whatever. My bad, dudes. I guess we're extending this into extra time. <laughs> I, was trying... I was trying to pull my players, like, out of the way. And, well, instead, just ended up pulling them into intercepting the ball. All right. Extra time in the past has produced some... Magnificent periods of play. Has it though? Teams get tired and other factors come into play. We'll see oh, what this brings. Good God. Bergkamp, Bergkamp. Good block. Okay, so Green doesn't have the long throw, but still a decent throw on him. Sal. Nice Sal. David Myler. On to the attack now. Alioski? Yes! That was a weird pass, but... That's a huge save. I should have put that more... You know what? I had time to take a touch. I really did have time to take a touch there. I, I, I had zero composure as an actual FIFA player. I suck. Dude, I could have literally just ran in on net, man. What am I trying to beat his player that I've already beat for? Silly, silly, silly decision making, man. Now here's a chance to get at the opposition. Silly decision making here. 
This guy's a really good FIFA player, man. He's got a cool team. I've actually, for some insane reason, really enjoyed playing this game. Like, really enjoyed playing this game. It's been very nice and back and forth. Haven't taken the game seriously, obviously, which is also a large part of why I think Weekend League pisses me off so much is because every game means so much in terms of doing, doing well in. Okay, no idea what Dennis Bergkamp's doing there. <clears throat> and then he fouls the player off of the ball when I intercept the ball. Odd turn of events. Could pose some danger now. And up goes the board. There'll be two added minutes. Well, I don't know who the it's my fault. Player that has pretty much zero passing stats. I'm trying to like force a play that even Valencia would have mis made a mistake with. Dude, these guys that just defend the passing lane, and again, this is nothing against my opponent. This is more like me thinking out loud. It's so hard to break down. Because when the AI wants to be a god defensively for you, they just will. Like, he literally just defends the passing lane and lets his entire four-man backline just cover everything. He's using all silvers, and they're all playing, like, icons. Covering every single passing lane. All right. EA does that all the time. They make your players foul players after the ball's passed away. It's so stupid. I, I mean, I don't know how they would code that into the game. I think that's more like just random than anything. But you know, what do I know? Okay, so this guy's starting to overcommit big time defensively. So my players don't feel like they're making intelligent runs. Like, can someone show for me, please? Holding RB does not... Or tapping RB or whatever it is. For Sakes. I'm starting to piss myself off with how bad I'm playing right now. That's another reason as to why I start getting in a bad mood or like it sounds like I'm just c crying or complaining during a game of FIFA. It's just because I'm starting to get mad at myself for like making stupid decisions and it's really hard for me to like... That's a great goal. Um, It's really hard for me to like sit there and analytically be like, oh, I shouldn't have done this well. So I just sit there and bitch and moan when really I'm just mad at myself for being an idiot more than anything. Anyways, this guy deserves the win. I didn't even have to give him the win. He earned it himself. <clears throat> Good game of FIFA, though. I've enjoyed it. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. The touches, man. What are these touches? Oh my god, man. You'd think that's a pretty easy pass for Dennis Burkham to make. I'm impressed, man. This keeper's made... I mean, my keeper's made really good saves as well. Good goal, Dennis Bergkamp. Wow. Star of the show for both of us, man. 87 and 90 rated prime Bergkamp. Look at Dave. No beard, though. No beard. Look at that half volley. And whoa! I think Alioski deserves some credit there. Moves out of the way for that shot. Should we just take this to Pence? Sorry, not ultra defensive. There we go. Why not? Oh, God. Woo! See who has the composure in the pens with an exhausted team. Now Bergkamp. Oh, wow. Real belief what in the... F Dude, like, did you hear the button input there? I wanted a, uh, not a Burba spin, but the ball roll. Just didn't register it. Ronaldo just ran into the player. Weird, man. Again, not complaining. Or not trying to not complain. Alioski. Gonna be the hero. Oh my god, the dive! Wow! Did you see that? Did Burkhab learn that from Robin? Oh my lord! I purposely tried to shield the ball there. But that wasn't a pen. But did you see the dive from Burkhab there at the end? Holy lord. 
Actually. Justice! No era pin owl. All right, let's see. What's this guy going to do here? Right down the gut, hey? Okay. All right. Ah! It's not a good pen. Should have picked a side. I went the right way, too. Off the post, off the keeper's head and in. Okay. All right, keeping it simple with this guy. Uh, let's have a bit of fun with this. He's going to save this, but whatever. Oh, maybe not. I'm not going to lie. I pressed LB there. I wanted Ronaldo to Penenka that. Holy goddamn! I need to score this. There it is. Look left, go right. I used to do that all the time in uh, in high school for penalty shootouts. This guy is actually going right where he aims too. All right, lots of pressure. Patty Cakes, this is all you, bro. If you miss this, we lose. Woo, let's go. Okay, nice. Read that. All right. Dave Myler! Oh my god! Come on, Dave! Let's go! Come on, Dave. All you, baby. Dave Myler! Don't dab on him! Just apologize for knocking him out of... The I'm sorry, I my competitive juices took over there. I wanted to get the win in the shootout. Let's go. Dave wins us the penalty shootout. You can't write it any better, dudes. Let's go. Burkham gets four goals. What did anyone else in my team do there, man? That was such a fun game of FIFA, dudes. I'd highly recommend you guys go into the daily knockout tournament when there's like these cool requirements like this and have fun with it. Like if you feel like, you know, let's make the FIFA community a little bit better. Unfortunately, my competitive juices took over there, but like if you have a fun game and you feel like your opponent's a decent player and you don't need to get into the knockout tournament, feel free to just give them the win and, and move on. I didn't do that right now because I'm a bit of a dickhead, but that was just such a fun game, man. Ronaldo did nothing that game. That was all Dennis Bergkamp. Absolutely insane. So anyways, uh, Drastic, whoever you are, fair, good game of FIFA. That was very, very enjoyable. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the latest episode of the Poor Man Road to Glory. I apologize that I let it carry on for so damn long, but that game was super fun to do. Until next time, which should be the monthly rewards for the Poor Man Road to Glory. I love you all and have, I was about to say a very nice day, but that would have literally be me ripping Itani. So we'll just catch you on the flip side. Peace!